It's the first month of 2023. As such, the CGC Strike Force showcased its efforts in the area of anti-smuggling, trade facilitation and revenue generation for the year 2022 in a bid to re-evaluate strategies going into the new year. The coordinator of the unit, Deputy Comptroller Kolapo Oladiji, gave us a brief overview of the role of the CGC Strike Force headquarters in the Nigeria Customs Service. CGC Strike Force unit is Contra General of Customs Strike Force units established with the aim of assisting various commands in carrying out their duties in the area of enforcement and suppression of smuggling, facilitation of trade and revenue generation. We were divided into various zones, precisely Son A, Son B, Son C, and FCT Stroke North Central Zone. The coordinator highlighted various challenges faced in his tenure and subsequent solutions that aided in their efforts to fulfill their various mandates. Considering our area of jurisdiction that bordered our neighboring countries, you know, because of the ongoing banditry, banditry issues, you know, insurrections. When you talk of Niger state bordering Babana border areas, you talk of Chikanda, these are the border areas that are difficult in the terrain. These are the challenges we faced. The borders you know, they are closed in that axis. So the, 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 the general public perceive that, I mean, their perception is that, why? Why should we be prevented from <laughs> bringing in things the way we like and the weather is closed? We were able to face the challenges and we have been achieving our desired results. You understand? Like, in terms of vehicles, the management provided us enough vehicles. In terms of weapons, ammunition, welfare, they have uh, tried. And that, that made us to achieve a lot. Though they are still teaching problems from here and there, but to God be the glory. He further went on to list out all their achievements for the year 2022, which include seizures and demand notices of various vehicles intercepted. We've been able to make a lot of arrests, interceptions of uncustomed goods, goods that they did not pay appropriate duty. Since that February up to date, the CGC Strike Force units covering FCT and the uh, North Central Axis, they have been able to record seizures of vehicles, extortive vehicles, and items, goods, various demand notices issues on them for those who are dutable and seized those who are not possible and condemned by federal high court in accordance with the extant guidelines so that it can serve as a deterrent to others. And uh, I would like to let you know, in our unit here, yeah, we'll be able to record a total DPV of 613 million, 687 thousands, 882 Naira only. The demand notices raised 
on various vehicles that we intercepted. They paid duty, but they did not pay appropriately. Our unit was able to record extra money to the tune of 222 million naira, 81,421 naira. This money would have gone if not for our intervention, and this money had been paid into the covers of the federal government. The coordinator advised the general populace and would-be smugglers to adhere to the nation's fiscal policies as well as embrace legitimate trade. Smuggling is not a good business. When you are engaging in smuggling, you are engaging in a criminal act. It's a sin against humanity. Every action you are taking is against every citizen of this country. And uh, from a spiritual point of view, God may not forgive you. But when you talk of the laws, about the laws of the land, the consequence is severe for you. You will lose your money at the end of the day. So why would you engage in an illegal business that at the end of the day, you will lose out? He assured that his unit will hit the ground running in 2023 and warned would-be smugglers that they are ever vigilant and ready to execute their mandate to curb smuggling to the barest minimum. Abdul Karim Zermi, NCBN, Abuja.